The River Thames at 215 miles is the longest river that flows solely within England. It weaves its course through a landscape charged with history, from its source in the Cotswolds, past the dreaming spires of Oxford, the seeding of the Magna Carta at Runnymede, to one of our greatest cities, London, passing Greenwich, where time universal is measured. For this location photo soundbite, I am telling the story of the stretch between Kew Bridge and Hampton Court, beginning at Kew Gardens, passing through Richmond and Kingston and several great houses, to arrive at one of the most famous, Hampton Court Palace. I start my journey at Kew Bridge, progressing upriver against the tide. Kew Bridge is best accessed from Kew Bridge Station. There are services from Waterloo. The nearest station on the district line is Gunnersbury, but that is further away. The tall brick chimney marks the site of Kew Bridge Steam Museum. Worth a visit if you are interested in steam pumping engines. Of international renown on the other side of the Thames is Kew Gardens. But first, slip into St Anne's on Kew Green, opposite the garden's entrance, a church in honour of the Queen at the time, built in 1714. The west end of the church is Georgian, but the more lavish east end is Victorian, extended in 1880. Although he never lived at Kew, in accordance with his wishes, Gainsborough is buried at St. Anne's. It would appear rather quirky, certainly unfortunate, that Kew Gardens started life in 1759 for Princess Augusta to console herself when her husband, Frederick, Prince of Wales, was killed by a cricket ball. It became a World Heritage Site in 2003 as well as housing the largest collection of living plants in the world. Its most iconic feature is the octagonal ten-story pagoda built in 1761, a gift for Augusta from her son, George III. Across the river is Sion House, London home of the Duke of Northumberland. Its celebrated feature, built in 1826, is the Great Conservatory, the first large conservatory in the world to be constructed from metal and glass. Richmond upon Thames is the only London borough spanning both sides of the river. In 1902, the view of the River Thames from Richmond Hill was safeguarded by an Act of Parliament and is the only view so protected. It was painted by Turner in 1819. A good place to visit for a sunset and in winter it sets over the river. The Thames path on the Surrey side can be taken from Richmond to Ham House. Hamilton's Ferry allows access across the river to Marble Hill House on the Middlesex side, the former county name for the area encompassing Twickenham. Marble Hill House and Ham House face each other across the river. Marble Hill House is in the care of English Heritage, 
and it is a palladium villa, whereas Ham House is considered to be one of the finest examples of a complete 17th century house and garden. It is in the care of the National Trust, and here photography is permitted inside, but no tripods. Time to test your lens and camera's image stabilizers, but hold your breath, it's quite dark inside. Kingston's proud heritage, as its name suggests, goes back to the 10th century when seven Saxon kings were crowned, including Ethelred the Unready, who established the disastrous Danegold to buy off Danish invaders. Queen Elizabeth II's royal line goes back to this period, which she commemorated with a visit in 1977. The river sweeps round Bushy Park in a huge arc to arrive at one of the country's best-known royal palaces, Hampton Court. Bushy Park, created in the 16th century as a hunting ground for Hampton Court Palace, is the second largest of London's royal parks. With the Diana Fountain, it forms a magnificent prelude to the palace. Hampton Court is really two palaces in one, the Tudor Palace of Henry VIII and Sir Christopher Wren's Baroque Splendour. Perhaps its greatest or most notorious moment was when Henry VIII confiscated it from Cardinal Wolsey. It became Henry's favourite home, where he married his sixth wife, Catherine Parr. George II was the last king to reside at Hampton Court, and Queen Victoria opened it to the public in 1838. A return to Waterloo can be made from Hampton Court Station on the Surrey side of the river, but I chose to walk back across Bushy Park to take the train home from Kingston.